Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've done any unboxing videos, but um, I got something really cool recently that I wanted to share. It's the Oregon Trail, um, classic Oregon Trail game on a little handheld device. Um, so I, I was actually getting this because I was getting something else, but I had to get a discount and to that I'd order something $10 more and I got this. But this is really cool. Um, it's the original Oregon Trail game. and even says, you have died of dysentery. So, back says, learn about the realities of 19th century pioneer. Life on the Oregon Trail, one of the most successful video games of all time. Choose your profession and pick your traveling companions as you set out on the trek from Independence, Missouri to Oregon's Willamette Valley in the covered wagon circa 1848. You'll cross rivers and mountain ranges along the way, hunting for food and trading for supplies as you go. Monitor your traveling pace, supply, and the health of your party closely to make sure everyone arrives safely. <clears throat> and what's cool, if I click the demo, it actually has sound and color. So, to me, that's really cool because back in my day, these little type of head games were only black and white. But now it's like full pixel color and sound and everything. So, that was just a demo. Um, let me quickly unbox this. So in the back you have like the little instructions for the keys. Game instruction manual. Power button. Oh, and the power button is like the cute little, um, kind of like a floppy disk for a Mac. Volume control, control pad, yes, no, enter, status, speakers. So it kind of talks about the game and how to play it. And it's operated by... It's operated by three, is it double A, triple A? Ah, three double A batteries, which isn't too bad. Oops. <laughs> what is this? Can I just keep turning? I'm not used to a uh, new age. Oh, did I just turn? Oh, I Oh, I like new, new packaging these days. That's pretty cool. I'm already excited about this packaging because it's like easy to take out. Sorry, I keep pressing the demo button. But it's actually easy packaging. More tape. There we go. Ah, it's free. So, this is the back. And it has a little sticky thing. I guess this is what activates the demo. Reset button. Um, it's bolted in, the batteries. Oh, I guess I accidentally started it. Oh, it's on and off button. So one thing I have a question on is I don't know if it actually saves, which would be kind of a good question. Um, you may travel the trail, learn about the trail, see the Oregon Top 10. What is your choice? Should we see the Oregon Top 10 maybe? Oh, okay, so this is for, I guess, default people who get the score. Um, right now, this is default because nobody's played this yet. How points are earned? No. Learn about the trail. Oops. 
try taking a journey by covered wagon across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. Try blah 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 six inches deep. How will you cross the rivers? If you have money, you might take a ferry if there is a ferry, or you can ford the river and hope you and your wagon aren't swallowed alive. What about supplies? Well, you're low on food, you can... Okay, so this is just learning about the game. So this would start the game. You, Many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston, be a carpenter from Ohio, be a farmer from Illinois. Find out the different choices between the choices. Uh, let's find out. Traveling to Oregon isn't easy, but if you're a banker, you'll have more money for supplies and services than a carpenter or farmer. However, the harder you have, the harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Therefore, the farmer earns the greatest amount of points, and the banker earns the least. Okay, um, let's go easy. Let's be bankers. What is the name of the wagon leader? I wonder if there's lowercase. I guess not. Wait, there it is. Mina. Yes. Um, what are the first names of your four party members? Um, whoops. How do I say no? Backspace. Uh, I guess there's no backspace. Um, hmm. Oh, train in the background. I'll name this one Ari Lynn. Arlen, done. Let's bring Conrad along. Conrad. Conrad. Done. Who shall be my fourth party member? Um... Bobby, I guess. The oh, B B. I done. Oh, I can have a fifth member. Um, let's bring vacation along. He's a hoot. Okay. Vacation. Okay. Done. Enter to continue. It is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Um, let's see. Should we leave? March seems a very good weather because June and July would be like hot in the summer. It'll be turning into cold months. So I would say March would probably be the best time. Best weather, right? One, March. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Uh, hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon. Clothing for both summer and winter. Plenty of food for the trip. Ammunition for your rifle. Spare parts for your wagon. Uh, we need oxen. How much do they cost? There are two oxen in York. I recommend at least three yoke. Oh, per yoke. Okay. There's two oxen in a yoke. What's a yoke? 
I charge $40 a yoke. What? What's a yoke? <laughs> uh, let's get a team of four. Okay, we're at 160 now. Um, we need clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. Um, two sets. One, two. We have, what, six people? Two, four, six, eight. I mean, we have money, right? Might as well, like, live nicely. Ooh, spare parts, right? It's a good idea to have a few spare parts for your wagon. Here are the prices. Um, let's get, like, two spare wheels. Um, <laughs> One, two, three. Or three. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oops. Axles, two, I guess. A tongue? What's a tongue? Two. And then let's get some food. Oh, ammunition. I sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box costs two dollars. Yeah, we need to hunt. Nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's America. We need more bullets. Food. I re recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need four flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is around 20 cents a pound. Uh, so, a thousand, uh, 300. Okay. So, not too bad. We spent $606. I think that should be good for now. Which item? We... Okay. I think we just leave store. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. I like how there's like color and stuff. Weather is cold, health is good, um, pace is steady, uh, rations is filling. You may continue to check on supplies, look at map, change pace, change food rations, stop to rest, attempt to trade, talk to people, buy supplies. Let's look at the map. Whoa. Okay, so we are at Independence, I guess? Right there? Um... Do we? It's too early to trade, right? Let's continue. From Independence, it takes 102 miles to Kansas River Crossing. Rainy, good. We're still good on food. Press the wagon. Ah. You are now at the Kansas River crossing. Would you like to look around? Why not? Uh, what a peaceful scenario. Okay, we're still good on rations, but let's double check. Let's look at supplies. We're good on our oxen. Did we get more oxen? Because that looks like eight. Did they breed? Sets of clothing, we have eight. Bullets, we are still good. Wagon wheels, okay, okay. We're still good on flow. Okay, let's go. Five hundred feet across, and oh, it's cold weather. Across, take a ferry across. Wait to see if conditions improve. Let's get more information. The ford is a river means to pull your wagon across a shallow part of the river with the oxen still attached. The caulk the wagon means to seal it with pitch or tar so that no water can get in. The wagon can then be floated across a river boat. To use a ferry means to put your wagon on top of a flat boat that some belongs to someone else. The owner of the ferry will charge a fee to take your wagon across the river. 
We're rich, right? Let's just take a ferry across. And you five dollars, and that will have to wait four days. Five dollars? Yeah, why not? Ah, the privilege of the money, huh? Easy way across. Nice. Let's continue. Big Blue River Crossing. Would you like to take a look around? Yes. Mm, cool, good, steady, and filling. Mm, 2.2 feet. Isn't that... That's not too bad, right? Um, let's ford the river. YOLO. Yeah, no problems crossing. How lucky. Okay, but yeah, this is a game. And you can get it at either Target. I also saw it on Amazon as well. Um, pretty cool. Bye now.